Hi, it's Colin from Mailshake. Today I'm going over our overview tab when viewing a campaign. The first thing you'll see is a top-down summary of the performance of your campaign visualized like a funnel. At the top you'll see your initial email and how it went. Each statistic can be clicked, leading you to the exact recipients behind those numbers. The bottom bar shows the sending progress of this message. You may have some recipients who are paused and haven't yet received this message, or maybe your sending calendar is still at work in sending some of those emails. Some people may bounce or unsubscribe, which stops Mailshake from emailing them again. And that's shown here. Hopefully you'll get some replies. If you set up reply-based follow-ups, then a reply is, by default at least, the action that stops someone from receiving the next message in your sequence. So these four people who replied are stopped from receiving this next message. So when you move down the funnel, you'll see the number of people who qualified for the next message. Each message shows statistics on its performance, and keep in mind that to make percentages easy to understand, each recipient counted only once for each message in each category. For instance, if Jane Doe opened this email three times, she'll still only be counted once as an open for that one message. Uh, regarding unsubscribes, people can either click an unsubscribe link that you put in your messages, or they can reply with one of our catchphrases. And remember that bounced recipients kind of work similarly in that we won't try to email them again. At the bottom of your funnel, you can toggle between the different types of messages in your campaign. In our case, we can take a look at how our replies are doing and then switch over to see how the on-click messages are doing. Below this section, are your overall stats across all messages. Again, recipients are only counted once per category, so this gives you an easy way to understand your percentages. Our campaign here has a 76% open rate, meaning that of all the emails that we may have sent to a recipient, whether it be the initial message, one of the three replies, or the click message, 76% of people clicked on it opened at least one of those messages. Finally, the bottom section shows statistics that show recipients more than once so that you can see full totals of what happened. There are a few other things just to be aware of. When we count replies, we ignore ones that Mailshake classifies as out-of-office responses or notifications from Google that say your message sending was delayed, and we have those listed out here. Also know that it's possible for your numbers to not add up perfectly as you're tracing the funnel down. For example, a recipient can be unsubscribed outside of this campaign, either because you manually unsubscribe them or because they unsubscribe to a message you sent from a different campaign, or maybe they unsubscribed after already receiving your last message. The Activity tab shows you the chronological history of your campaign, with each action being clickable so you can see the detail. And finally, the Timeline tab shows you a chart of when recipients were added to your campaign and when each message in your campaign was sent. The pink bars show when the recipients were added and the line charts show when each message was sent and how many. One final tip, if you have multiple lists of recipients in this campaign, you can filter the data for all these tabs by clicking on this drop-down and choosing one of the lists in your campaign. That's all for now. Uh, we hope the performance reports shown here give you some really powerful insights into how your campaign is doing. Thanks.